Hey, Tanse. Hello, bonjour. Good morning and good day, everybody. And welcome to Pow Wow Dance Aerobics. I'm your host, Dallas Arcan. This is a free daily aerobics class in which I use Pow Wow style dancing to work out. And it's uh, just another option for fitness activities here, uh, broadcasting live from my home to your home. If you choose to participate, this class is for you. It's for everybody, really. And that's why I do this class every day, um, most days. Um, you know, I just try to keep this up uh, for my own health and just sharing on how it helps me um, stay healthy, especially during this pandemic. You know, a lot of us are challenged uh, with these situations. And right here in Alberta, they finally just started phase two of opening up things again because we've been on lockdown for for so long and it's it's so hard on people because uh, you know like uh, not only for physical health but for mental health and for for all the health uh, all the health purposes this class are that's kind of what I've been doing this class for is just to keep the keep things going along in a good way and kind of keep keep ourselves sane I guess by having something, having some sort of interaction, some sort of goal to look forward to. And um, for those of you that have been watching regularly, I have, a, I have a 30 day fitness challenge. So one of my favorite quotes though, is by Dr. Wayne Dyer. And uh, his quote is actually, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at will change. And I thought that quote is very, um, very touching because you know, there's many times where we get where we get caught up in on how things, how we want things to be, or how we think things should be, and uh, you know, all all it's just a matter of just of, of perspective and, and mindfulness, and that's all there is to it. So, anyways, I want to get started now with some some dancing. I'm gonna grab my weights here. I got a couple of new exer new exercises to show you today. Um, something just to try new with uh, with the uh, workouts I've already been doing. So I've, I've got a couple of different weight options here, uh, but I'm gonna start off with these. These are great. These are nice little beanie weights I like to dance with. And uh, if you don't have these, I definitely recommend getting them at Walmart. Uh, for those of you that are regular visitors at Walmart, they're only two pounds and they, they got these nice little straps. <laughs> it's funny when my friends come over, they're like, oh, these are cool. And they grab them like this. And it's like, hey man, you're gonna wreck my handle. No, it actually goes like this. And that's the cool thing about it is that they just fit onto your hand and they're, they're kind of like a stress ball in a way too because you get to squeeze them too. They're, they're really squishy and they're really good that way. And uh, the reason why I like carrying these while I'm dancing is it adds that much more resistance to your workout. And these are actually, were designed for walking, like for people that like to go for walks and, and speed walk or jog. It gives you that little bit of extra weight to carry to burn fat, to tone muscle, and all that stuff. So anyways, I wanna get started with the first, the first part of the dancing. So we're gonna do the warm up, nice and easy, low impact. It's still bloody cold here, so that's why I'm doing my class inside my house, opposed to how I've done it in the past in uh, the porch. It's a little bit cooler out there, but it's kind of really cold where the floor is almost ice. And I just don't want to slip and fall and embarrass myself in front of all y'all. Anyways, uh, welcome to Pow Wow Dance Aerobics. If this is your first time, all it is is just we use Pow Wow style dancing. So I would start off with a basic step, basic right, left, one, two step. It's fairly simple. This is the, the very common step of all powwow dancing all powwow dancers follow this step and some even just bounce to it like this so you bounce up and down that's an effective step too usually when we do our grand entries and all the uh, grand entries all the dancers are in all the woman dancers all the, the grandmas and the mothers and all the young women they they, they circle us in the powwow circle and they do that, they do that bounce, and they, they, they complete the circle, and it's very beautiful to see. So anyways, uh, I just thought I would share a few things about 
what powwow is and uh, this ain't exactly just powwow I'm just using powwow style dancing as a form of working out as an alternative to working out it's really great to use this it's um, not only a great exercise but it's also a cultural enlightenment activity if you may call it that but anyways so here's the basic step without the hops basic step you've got your arms swinging so your arms are in motion you're getting a total body workout if you're following this so what i like to call basic step up is just like this you put a little bounce to it and hop to the beat now this is a great way to get in some cardio get the blood flowing get the heart pumping and that's the most important muscle in the body is the heart because it regulates your blood it helps to move things in your body and that's all you need for this class really is two feet and a heartbeat so I'm just keeping it nice and simple not doing anything too complicated nice easy low impact warm-up so that's all there is to it make sure you have some water water is good have a little sip oh that sounds like young spirit I could almost identify every drum group by their sound <laughs> That's just how much I know about powwow and I, there's always room to learn more, you know. I was telling my students the other night or yesterday is that even though I've been hoop dancing for nearly 30 years, I'm still learning stuff in hoop dancing. Because <laughs> you never stop learning the day you die. So now let's do some shoulder exercises with that basic step. So this do a nice low impact here. We're gonna warm up our shoulders simply by pulsating to that rhythm. That's the basic rhythm. If you see how my shoulders and hands are moving, that's the rhythm. I'm locked into the rhythm of the dance, and it's also creating a good, uh, good exercise. If you follow that rhythm, it's like a micro exercise that helps to exercise your shoulders and all that good stuff. So if you do that for long enough, you're gonna feel the burn on your shoulders. And that's what you wanna feel when you're working out. You wanna feel that resistance and that burn. It's gonna build and tighten those muscles. And this is all just a warm up, right? So we're gonna get a little bit more intense here when I introduce the 30 day challenge. So now let's do some some arm lifts like this. This one's gonna work the front of your shoulder muscles. So if you just do a slight little lift like this, head high, so from your waist to your head, this will help exercise these muscles right here, right beside your pecs. Nice tight shoulders. So you do this for about a minute, and you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel it in your shoulder, Feel it in your rotator cuff, and it's a good way of working out and exercising those muscles. All right, feels really good. Oh man, I'm starting to feel the burn. And it's just really simple. Look at it, we're just dancing. You don't need a fancy treadmill. You can do this from your home without having all of the fancy equipment. You can actually do a total body workout just by doing this every day and you know some people like to smudge in the morning i think powwow dancing in the morning is just as good as smudging it's not the same but it's just as good because you're dancing you're healing and you're connecting to the spiritual energy of the powwow style songs all right so we're going to do one more warm-up song here so now we're going to do a little twisty turn so we'll wake up those core muscles. So left to right, you're gonna twist, turn, left, right, left, right, all while you're doing the one, two step. So nice little twist, turn, we're waking up those core muscles as well as working out those shoulder muscles with a nice slight twist and turn like that. Five, six, seven, eight, one.
guys in there. So we're gonna do some crossovers with our arms while we're dancing. <laughs> Notice how my arms are always moving. So I'm working on my arms, same time as my legs, same time as the core. Every time you lift up your leg, you're activating those core muscles, and that's really good. So here's some crossovers now. So just make them straight and cross over like this. One, left, right, up, down, up. So you cross over, left over right, right over left, just like that. Just like you're a bird, you're spreading your wings, you're flying up. Oh man, that's burning now, I can feel it. Feels good though. We're almost done. We're almost done at workout. Oh man. Feels good. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Oh man. Feels good. Alright. That was awesome. So uh I'm going to take a break now and do the stretching accordingly. So now that we've warmed up, you can feel your lungs expanded, your heart rate is going, your muscles are alert, they're alive, and that's the best time to work out though, is in the mornings. I was reading, so just follow along as I talk. I'm just gonna do some, some stretches and exercises. So follow along and follow me and uh, these are, I'm gonna stretch every muscle starting from our arms all the way down to our legs and then back up again. And so a nice little stretch like this. But I was, uh, I, I do a lot of research in the mornings and I listen to a lot of motivational videos. And one of the things I always hear echoed from them is uh, some of the most successful people, they get up at 4.30 in the morning, they have their workout, they do their job, their strength training, and their research, and then they go to work. And I've said this many times over to, to all of you, is that, uh, so this one you wanna lock your fingers together, try to pull them apart, and you'll feel that in the back of your uh, shoulders. So anyways, um, you know, the, some of the most successful people say that, and I've said that too. Basically, the best time to work out is in the mornings before you go to work, because it sets the tone for your day, it prepares you for the day. Like even if you don't have a job and and you're retired or whatever, or like I have all kinds of people on here, so I understand your situation, but the good thing about working out in the morning is it prepares you for the day, it gets your muscles woken up, ready and ready to go, ready to, and, and it, the good, the other benefit about it is it prevents injury too. Like, so like, if you're walking, you could roll your ankle, you could slip and fall, like especially in Canada, we have got a lot of ice and you could slip. And a lot of people have slip and falls. I've, I've seen some of my friends be injured really bad from uh, slip and falls and it's not fun, let me tell you. It's not fun at all. So anyways, uh, I just want to share that with you. So anyways, continuing on, we just stretched the triceps. We're gonna go into the neck area and shortly after this stretch, we're gonna go into some, some of the 30-day uh, challenge exercises. Well, somebody was asking me yesterday if I can uh, write those down, and I was like, uh, no. This is a volunteer class, so if you want to get the notes from the 30-day challenge, which are on my board right here, I'm gonna share. So when I show the board, just pause the video and write them down. You know, you gotta, participate in your own rescue. You gotta put the work in too. So I've done the research and I've taken notes myself and I share them. So it's up to you to write them down, you know, or, uh, or memorize them, do whatever you gotta do. And that's all there is to it. Cause I had to write them down at some point and I had to do my research. So I'm, I'm just, I want you to meet me halfway kind of thing to, to do that. So anyways, I just thought I would share that note that, uh, you know, if I'm, if I'm having to write things down for people and the message. Um, I'm not really on here for that, you know. If you want me to do that, then, yeah, then I'll, then I'll start charging. <laughs> I'll charge, uh, I'll charge, I don't know, 20 bucks a chart for me to write it down for you. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but I mean, like, but you know what I mean, right? This is volunteer, 
So you got to meet me halfway. I'm volunteering to do this. This is out of my time. I put a lot of prep time into this class and I use all my resources. This is just my way of giving back to the people. And I care about everybody. I care about each and every one of you. So I want you guys to participate in this class as much as you can and, and benefit from it. And that's what it's for. You know, so that, that's really my message here is that really, honestly, you, you've got to take the time to participate in, in your own workout program. And, you know, whether you use my program or the next guy's program, it doesn't really matter as, you know, like I'm just putting this out there and trying to promote a good thing here. So anyway, it's going to stretch the calf muscle now. This one is really easy. You just tilt and keep your foot on the ground you'll feel that stretch in your calf all the way up to your to the back of your leg there your um, your uh, hamstring muscle and you only need about 10 seconds for every stretch here and that's all there is to it so the next one is heel to the floor toe up and then reach for your toe if you can't grab it just grab your leg and either way it's, it's good if you can grab your toe but i'd work towards getting to that place where you can grab your toe. And um, for those of you that are unable to do these uh, exercise fully, I, I, I feel you and you know, it just, you know, it, it, it really, uh, it really touches my heart that you're trying. And you know, I, I, I can only imagine what people go through that are, that are in a wheelchair that can't move, you know, and, and, and that's, that's what gives me more and more motivation to keep moving and keep doing these exercises and stay healthy and not take it for granted. Because if we take our health for granted, you know, we're basically not honoring those who don't have these, those abilities. So I, I don't know, this is, I have mixed emotions about that. And, and people like one of my students before um, ended up in a wheelchair, but I've, I've taught students in the past even hoop dancing that were in a wheelchair that were still w willing to participate and, and dance and, and do formations and, and do all they could to make it happen. And, you know, you hear so many beautiful, inspirational stories about that. So anyway, I'm just going to continue on with the stretches now, and then we're going to go into the 30 day challenge exercises. So this 30 day challenge, man, it's a, it's a butt burner. It's a, it's an ab burner. <laughs> It's, it's an everything burner. It's my legs are on fire and my butt, oh man, everything, all my muscles are sore because of it. I was doing the 25 push up challenge for many, many days, but now I'm doing something totally different, which is the 30 day challenge and which I'll share with you. And then after that, I got a couple more exercises to show you today. So the 30 day challenge is fairly simple, fairly easy. Uh, I got these buttons here as markers to mark the sets. So this is a cycle of, of a six part cycle. And uh, what the 30 day fitness challenge is, is the six parts is, which is mountain climbers, high knee kicks, uh, squat jumps, switch lunges, crunches, and leg raises. So we're only gonna do this for 30 days and then I think we can take a break from it and go into another cycle, uh, workout cycle. And what, what this cycle is, is so we do these, uh, these reps and then we do this in sets. So I have it broken down into sets of four. And so how this works is you can modify this time to, uh, I have it set really high right now. I have the bar set high at uh, 45 seconds, but you can actually cut that in half and make this into like 20 seconds or whatever. Whatever time you want to do that's comfortable because it is quite challenging to do each and every one of these. And then I'm, I'm going to demonstrate. So I've got these little markers here too. So whenever you do one set, just put a, a marker on one side. And then whenever you do set number two and complete it, put a marker there and then put them and vice versa. So there's two, three, four. And that's what you want to do. There's your uh, little way of keeping track and keeping organized with this. So the, uh, the exercises, I'm going to go through them with you. So we're going to do some mountain. I'm going to demonstrate some mountain climbers. What that is, is you go into a push-up position and you just kick your knees up and it looks like you're mountain climbing. So you just slide your legs back and forth like that. That's a mountain climber. 
and you want to do that for you know 15 20 30 seconds however long you can do that okay so then the next part of the workout program that I have in mind is the high knee kicks so these you can I've seen dancers do these in different cultures not only indigenous cultures but the high knee kicks is a really great workout for the abdominal muscles because you're you're kicking really high with your knee and you're using all your strength and your core to do that so if you do that for 20 seconds 30 seconds or even 40 seconds you're gonna feel that so basically what those are is kicking high like this and if you can't jump and kick high like that you can definitely just raise your knee as high as you can like that challenge yourself and there's modified versions that you can do that. So if you're not comfortable with, with jumping and kicking like this, so you do that for, you know, whatever set time, that's really good. So I, I did my sets yesterday and I didn't do them all at once either. So that's the other thing. If you're kind of not feeling comfortable with doing it all at once, like I was like, I was beating myself up over this because this is a hard cycle to do. Like, even for me, like as, as a workout enthusiast, that cycle is like, it's dreadful. It's like looking at a mountain and like, okay, I gotta climb this mountain. <laughs> okay, so then the next part is squat jumps. This is my least favorite of the workout program. Believe me, I, I don't really like it. So what squat jumps are is you go down to about a 90 degree or a four, what do you call that? A 45 degree or is that a 90 degree? I think it's a 90 degree angle. I'm not too good at math, so 90 degree angle and jump, or is that a four? No, 45 is different. Okay, 90 degree angle, so just squat like you're sitting down and jump. And you do that for about 30 seconds. And if you're not comfortable with that again, remember, you can just go down, up, go down, and up. And you do that for 30 seconds, 20 seconds, like I said, whatever you're comfortable with it. But remember to make it progressive. So if the first week you're only doing 20 seconds, the next week try 30 seconds. And then eventually work to getting into 40 seconds and 45 seconds. So that's the way to do that. Now, switch lunges. I don't really like these either, but they are effective and they do burn and they do hurt. They hurt not in the sense that you're injuring yourself, but they hurt in the sense that you're burning muscle. So, so a lunge again is like this. It's where you kind of scissors your legs like this. So that's how you do that. It's basically like a scissor kick on the ground. So switch lunges, it's better. This is most effective and the hardest and the most appropriate way to do it is if you jump like this. And you can feel that in your knee and yeah switch lunges so right to left left to right like that and if you're not comfortable with jumping like that remember you could just go like this nice and slow at your own pace and as far down as you want so again you can change that cycle to 20 seconds 30 seconds or 40 seconds but remember each week change the time okay so uh two more exercises so crunches uh, i did all these yesterday no problem really easy <laughs> so crunches just cross your your arms over your body like this hug yourself a little bit cross your legs even and that gives you a nice stable form and you only need to just do little crunches like that so we go to 50 is what I have in mind. I could do 50, but if you can't, you could do, just break it down to 25 crunches. And then the last thing on the chart is to do leg raises like this. So you just, same thing, cross your legs, cross your arms, and do some leg raises. This helps to work out those lower abdominal muscles right by your pelvic area, hip zone. That'll tighten up all that. And I promise you, if you do this for 30 days, you're going to notice a big difference. You're going to burn some fat, you're going to lose some weight, and that's the challenge. So repeat this cycle exactly what I showed you four times, 
and get back to me in 30 days. If, if this works for you, definitely drop a comment, let me know. So now I'm gonna move on to another exercise, which we're gonna go back into the dancing because my workout plan is very simple. It's a five part workout plan, which we did the first uh, three parts, which is warm up and stretch and then uh, strength training exercises. Now we're gonna do the peak performance. So the peak performance mode is where I'm going to, uh, so I have options here. So I got my two pounders and you know, if you're not comfortable with the, the two pounders, you can do reduce it down to these little one pounders. These are so cute. These are the cutest little weights. I don't even feel them, man. They're like so light and they're so cute, but they are effective and they are effective. So I was using two pounds, but now for these, I'm using five pounders. So I'm gonna upgrade a little bit and challenge a little bit and go to five pounders. So, so the exercise here is we're gonna use these to get a little bit more burn. Okay, so here's the exercise now. I'm going to get these going. Instead of doing the one, two step like we did before, we're just gonna do uh, left, right, left, right like this. So it's like almost like we're running. So you want to match your your right with your left leg and your left with your right leg. Alternating back and forth. The reason why I do that is for balance and you can get a cross sort of burn with that. So here we go. One. So we'll do this for about a minute, for about a start. And you're gonna feel the burn. This entire start. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven. Looks like you're climbing a ladder. 
Like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn. Three, four, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, I'm gonna switch now, and then I'm gonna do some some side curls like this. I call them side curls. I don't know what else to call them. So basically, you're just holding your arms up like this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. down now with you this has been a really uh, effective workout I've got lots more workout activities as well as I'm working with a few organizations online and we're gonna do some uh, some cool cameo videos now to help promote workout challenges and healthy practices to do at home and uh, yeah Hey man, check out this cool social distance powwow jacket. If you guys like this, go on the social distance powwow website and definitely check them out. These are awesome. So now, what we're gonna do now is the the cool down. Uh, I always keep my my whole sweat outfit on for the entire workout because that's what you want to do. You want to get nice and sweaty and. Just keep that sweatpants on. I got a really thick sweatpants. So I got a pretty cool workout outfit. You know, I definitely recommend having a workout outfit because when you put that on, it's like a uniform. It's like, okay, I'm in the, I'm in character now. I'm in, I'm in focus now. It's like, it's like putting on a police officer uniform. It's like, okay, I'm playing this role. It's like role playing a little bit. When you put in your workout clothes, that's when you know it's it's real, you know, you mean business. So don't work out in your jeans or your pajamas. Uh, definitely have a workout outfit. Like for me, I don't wear pajamas to bed. I just wear like, I don't know, shorts or whatever, or, or you know, like the normal stuff, underwear <laughs> or something. But anyways, the workout outfit is definitely a must because you want to have a nice, uh, specially designed workout shirt. One that can wick up your sweat and help your skin breathe. And uh, yeah, I, I finally figured out what that what that was. Uh, I don't think it's a spider bite. Uh, I think it might be a cyst even. And I'm gonna go to the doctor today. I, I did go to the doctor once. They subscribed me some antibiotics for it. And it's the first time I ever had anything like that in my arm. I thought it was a spider bite at first, but I'm pretty sure it's a, it might be a cyst, but I'm gonna go see another doctor today to get a second opinion on it because that freaks, freaks me out. It's like a big welt. It's like a big bump underneath my arm. It's like a, it's kind of painful too, right? So I don't know what it is. It just showed up one day and I think I think that I picked at it, so it didn't help either. So anyways, yeah, well, even I have health problems too. You know, I, I guess as you get older, you encounter more of these so-called health problems um, and you just gotta deal with them and, and you know, not freak out. <laughs> I'm not freaking out too bad about it, but uh, you know, the main thing is that I try to stay healthy and and keep my body going keep my body moving and do this workout every day you know you want to get a nice good sweat going on yeah it feels good like after you work out 
feel so much better. It's going to boost your confidence, your immune system, your your old overall body strength. There's a lot of benefits. There's like there's like almost 100 different benefits I can list off of working out. So definitely um, if you're participating in this power dance aerobics program, you can definitely see in the people's comments and testimonials. A lot of people have shared with me of all ages, of all races. And remember, this is not just for indigenous people. This is open to non-indigenous people far and wide. This is for everybody. I do this class for everybody. It's, and, and it's not just for indigenous people. And I'm not, um, what do you call that, uh, appropriating culture or anything like that. I'm basically using the powwow dance steps and moves to basically as a bridge and a, and a technique that we can use to employ to uh, encourage fitness and aerobics. And that's all power dance aerobics is really about. So, you know, indigenous people do yoga and Zumba or salsa dancing. So it's nice that we can share a culture in this way so people can appreciate what indigenous culture really means and what it's like to experience these things. So I appreciate that and I appreciate all the non-indigenous people that come on this channel. And I myself, I'm I'm a mixed race myself. Like I'm I'm obviously not a full breed because of these these uh, green eyes. I, I have some Irish blood in myself and European and but I grew up on the res my entire life and I'm full status and uh, but you know it, I, I guess it doesn't really matter and I just don't mind sharing that about myself so thanks again for for joining me for another class of powwow dance aerobics remember this is a free class so you don't have to give me anything and uh, I definitely appreciate your comments and your shares and and um, and wise words and and I see how people are interacting and connecting on, on here and it's very beautiful and I've seen old friends even come on here like yesterday I had an old friend come on here I haven't heard about in like 20 years or so and it was awesome to hear from some of my old friends so again thanks for joining me on um, this day of power dance aerobics so I hope you guys have a beautiful blessed day wherever you're at so Take time, take the time to make the time to uh, take care of yourself, and uh, we'll see you again soon. I'll be back here tomorrow, same time, same thing, maybe a little bit more challenging. All right, I'm gonna take off. So peace out.